delicious and healthy. From now on, I only make broccoli like this. I will start this recipe using one broccoli, I will cut it separating the florets from the stock that we will not use in this recipe. Once that's done, I'm going to put each of the florets in a pot over low heat. I'll add a teaspoon of salt and add water until our ingredients are covered. I'm going to mix everything so that the salt is diluted in the water. Now let it cook for 7 minutes. After this time, I'm going to remove it from the pan and pour it in a colander, letting all the water drain. Once this is done, I'm going to put the cooked broccoli in a container. I will use a fork and mash all the florets, like this. Next, I'll add 2 eggs, 1 teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, 3 cloves of garlic. I'm going to mix everything together, incorporating very well. Perfect recipe for you who are looking for a meal option that is simple to make and very tasty. Now I'm going to add 100 grams of oatmeal. Again, I'm going to mix everything very well. Do it and try it, you will thank me for teaching you this recipe. Finally, I'm going to add 200 grams of mozzarella cheese. I'm going to mix it and incorporate it into the other ingredients. Meanwhile, tell me from which city you are watching us so I can send you a special hug. Today's hug goes to Mary Calciton from Toronto. I am happy that you are enjoying our recipes. Now, I'm going to rub some olive oil on my hands and then I'm going to make small portions with the mixture we prepared so far, like this. And repeat the process with the rest of the ingredients. That done, let's go to the next step. In a pan with low heat, I'm going to add some olive oil. With a brush, I'm going to spread it all over the pan. With the olive oil hot, I'm going to add each of the portions that we prepared for frying. Once this is done, cover the pan and let it cook on low heat for 10 minutes. After this time, I will turn our recipe over so that it cooks equally on both sides. Now cover it again and let it cook on low heat for another 5 minutes. After this time, our amazing recipe is ready. I'm taking it out of the pan to finally enjoy this delicious recipe. Make it and invite a friend to eat with you. I guarantee that your friend will even ask you for the recipe. And look how it turned out. You must try it. My family loves it. I've been making it every week. Once you make it, I guarantee it will become a routine in your house. I hope you enjoyed our recipe. Thank you very much for following us so far. See you in the next video, bye!